exactly 100% contained. But as the fire raged last Thursday, seven homes in the Jones Valley area were destroyed. New tonight, Action News Now reporter Elizabeth Zeledon sat down with one couple who lost their home. She's live now with uh, what their next steps are. Elizabeth? Alan, this couple is incredible. Not only did they lose everything just a few days ago, but now they're already starting to rebuild with their three year old son. Less than a week ago, forever changing the lives of several families. I knew the situation that we were in, that it was gone. Isaiah and Allison lived in one of the seven homes that burned to the ground. They say they were lucky to have grabbed what they could in the short time they had. We started grabbing everything as far as our dog and my mom's ashes and the clothes that we could. And by the time that we were done with that, it was about five, ten minutes. And it was, there was 20 planes. feet from us yeah. in each direction. However, not everything was saved. There was a few sentimental things we weren't able to grab, like our son's going home outfit from the hospital, which was also his. The couple's son turned to three the same day as the fire. His presence also went up in the flames. Isaiah and Allison are staying strong for their son, adding it's been much easier with the help of the community. We have a really great community yeah. and a great support system, and so many people have been trying to reach out to us, and we really, really appreciate it. However, less than a week out, the couple still has a long way to go to find a home, replace everyday essentials, and ultimately rebuild their lives. We're not, we're not negative people. We have the best outlook, and this too shall pass. So now hopes to find a home mm. soon in the area. Reporting live in Reading, Elizabeth Salidon, Action News Now. Thank you, Elizabeth. Well, the couple says they don't know if they will rebuild. They just had lost their home insurance after the snowstorm this past winter deemed them unqualified. 